So hello Strathroy Antique Mall and I'm going to be adding these insulators to my auction. So I'm going to show you a little bit of all of them. I don't know why they're priced like they are. I bought them from a collection and they've never hit this, the floor at the Antique Mall but I'm putting them for auction at the themaxsold.com and if you type in St. Thomas it should come up for our auction and we're going to be having the auction here and then pickup will be here so i'm going to start with this one so this insulator is probably bakelite it's got the wren on it mm, that's what the inside looks like and from the collector i got it from he had it priced at can barely see it but I'm thinking it says 20 something but I'll leave that to you collectors and you can decide this was another one it was a Heming gray number nine and he had it priced at 15 and I don't know if that's what he paid for them because he had all his stuff tagged and the back is uh, embossed, made in USA, 24-42. Not even sure if that's year 42. I'm not good with insulators. And that's what the inside looks like. The next one is this. It's a large looking one compared to the other ones. So this is one of the bigger, bigger ones. And it is called Whitehall Tantum, number one. It's got the nice thick chunky glass and he had it priced at $20. And that's what the inside looks like. I'm not sure if there's other words anywhere. There is. It's the Made in the USA, 73-47. And I don't know if it's a copyright or an A in a circle or an A in a C. So that's what we got for that one. This one's a really beautiful blue. It's uh, aqua. It's got lots of bubbles. And it is marked. I don't know. Braddock? Braddock? Field, Brookfield, Brookfield. And it's just got a lot of character with its color. That would look good on a windowsill with the sunlight going through it, just even for the color. He had it priced at 20. And I think that might be our only mark. And here's the inside. This one here, he had priced at 45 so it's a lighter blue. It's like a green blue. And again, it has lots of character and color. And do you know, I think this one's unmarked. I don't know why it's, he priced it at 45 He'd know. He was a collector of insulators and bottles. And this is the inside. So I don't know, is that threadless? I don't know. So that's that one for 45 Yeah, this one priced at 35 It's almost like the Brookfield for sure. It might be a tad bit lighter, but it's got a different name. It is, no, it's Brookfield. And that's the inside. So why is this one 35 I don't know. And this one is priced at 20 unless he bought it at different times. Because they really do look the same. So that's that one. No, I think there's something else wrote at the back of it right here. Maybe New York. But there is a little bit more of something there. Brookfield on the other side and I don't know what that is. The other one just has it on the one side and nothing on the other. 
And his last one is like a white forest land and of course it's CPR. So he's got it priced at 70. It's a tall insulator and it is marked CPR, which is a railway. So that's why it would be more money. And that's that one. If you like then, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Remember, I'm putting these on auction now. So they should be up and running probably next week for an auction. And pickup will be here in Strathroy. So thank you, YouTubers.